Hello and welcome to All Saints Temple Virtual Worship. Happy Sunday, everyone. We're so glad that you tuned in with us today. Let's bow our head for a word of prayer. Amen. Kind Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, O God, for this virtual worship, O God. We thank you, Lord, for all that have tuned in, O God. We ask you, Lord, that you just bless them in a special way, O God. We thank you, Lord, for your favor upon this week, O God. We thank you, Lord, for allowing us to see another Sunday, O God. We ask, Lord, that you just touch hearts today, O God. Heal bodies, O God. Make ways, O God. Trans transform minds today through the word of God, Lord. This we pray in Jesus' precious name. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Well, happy Sunday, everyone. Welcome to All Saints Temple Virtual Worship. We're going to go ahead into our praise and worship. We ask that you just sing along with us today. Amen. Yeah. 
chapter of Jonah, uh, Jonah, and matter of fact, it's verses 1, 2, and 3. Jonah 1 through 3, and the word declares. Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord and went down to Joppa and he found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare thereof and went down into it to go with them unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. This is a well-known uh, story in the Bible and we know that uh, eventually Jonah does preach um, in Nineveh by way of the fish that God had prepared for him. And he spent three days until he repented unto God. But verses one, two, and three have a distinct message for every believer. If you notice, all throughout the scripture, whenever God will call someone to a task, God was very specific, very clear as to what the task is. Now, typically throughout scripture, when God would call someone, they would hear it, and many times there was the rejection of God's call. And then eventually, they would yield to the will of Yahweh. Now in this particular case, Jonah, God calls Jonah, and God is very clear in what the task is. He wants him to go to Nineveh to preach against Nineveh. Nineveh was a city that was responsible for the attacks upon the children of Israel. And so Jonah rejects the call of God. You see, in this story, in these three verses, there has been communicated a purpose that God has called Jonah to. There's the call from God, number one. Then number two, there is the communication of the purpose. Now, in this case, Jonah rejected the purpose. He rejected the call 
that God had for him. Interesting thing about this, and I go into the New Testament. The New Testament says uh, where Peter on the day of Pentecost, uh, he quotes the prophet Joel. He's, he's, he quotes, in the last days, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Now in the time of Jonah, God was specific. But now in the New Testament, the spirit of God is poured out upon all flesh. You see, God, he would send his spirit to certain individuals, certain prophets. Now, Joel talks about upon everyone. And so I'd like to talk to you today about the purpose of every believer. We all have a purpose. God calls us and then we must pursue the purpose. Reminded of the scripture that we are the salt of the earth and we are the light of the world. So even in that quote, purpose is implied. It's very interesting because the, the believer must understand, the believer must know what your purpose is. When you come to the Lord and you accept him as your savior, God imputes or, in, or includes in his work of salvation a purpose for you being a believer. Yes, yes. Believer in Christ Jesus is synonymous with your purpose. You cannot be a believer in Christ Jesus and not have a purpose. And so we are saved, we are filled with the Spirit with purpose. We are not just saved and filled with the Holy Ghost just to go to heaven. We have a task. Each and every one of us has a purpose. So I tell you, since that we are filled with the Spirit of God and this being Pentecost Sunday, yes, and the Spirit is poured out upon all flesh, sons and daughters are recipients of this power. Discover, find out, seek God as to what your purpose is. Purpose transcends the minutia of this day. It transcends the normal chores that we encounter, we uh, perform in this life. Purpose is God-driven. Oh, I love that one. Purpose is God-driven. So I just want to say to you, get in touch with God. Embrace your purpose through prayer, through scripture, through your relationship with God. God will make your purpose clear. And then embrace it and then live this life based upon your purpose. That's the ultimate goal in this life is to fulfill your purpose. And you stand before God and you will be able to say, mission accomplished. I fulfill my purpose. So I pray that you were blessed by that.